back again and we are now playing the remake version of destroy all humans as you can see very nice flashy and exciting and we're gonna go ahead and Ooh, one giant step on mankind new and which one is Uniontown mothership just gonna save over that one because I guess I didn't do anything on that one yet
gotta admit, pretty cool. A lot of love was put into this, you have to admit. Okay, it drops you in the ship first. So let's go through all this stuff. So there, we got the fear on handbook. So so far, only shows the saucer stuff. Fear of Grom. I do not know what any of this is, but if I have to make a guess, it's probably. Oh, it's right there. Sources of location. So it sounds like it's probably just the video clips from before. The evasion report again shows you all the stuff, but it's definitely not as hefty as it was in the first game. But there are some gameplay mechanics that are just generally not the same. So skin selection, this is very new. So you can actually unlock skins in this game by completing certain tasks in the game. There's also this thing where you can just buy them outright uh, for 10 bucks, but honestly it's not worth it. Because as you can see, once you unlock them, they're unlocked for all other iterations of play. So just for the sake of this being the first mission, probably gonna go for that one. Just keep it vanilla. So the pox mark. What just happened? I don't know what just happened. But okay, I guess we're jumping right into the game. That was weird. Um, I guess when we return to the mothership we can have a look at that. So, 
graphical changes aside, there's a lot of quality of life changes. As you can see, the game just doesn't completely stop. You can uh, actually have the choice to read all of this if you want to. But at the end of the day, yeah, let's let's not say we did. So same as before, camera walking, but all the graphical changes aside, you have to admit a lot of love put into this iteration of the game. It is really nice, but I cannot use my jetpack straight out of the gate. But uh, things are kind of wonky, like this. I don't believe is in the right area, and the little collectible isn't here. Oh, it's kind of just in a different spot. So for the most part, it is kind of the same, just with a huge face facelift. Um, tells you what these are now. Like I said, you know, they're just collectibles. They give you extra DNA and all that stuff. All the goody good stuff. You can see your DNA there. Oh yeah, I didn't go through all that, but let's be honest, we probably we don't even need to. The minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the preliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Cortex scan. And as you can see, the whole concentration bar thing is gone. And on top of that, there's no weird button combos to be able to do certain things, which I really appreciate. Again with the moo. I think these lactating bovoids are trying to fool us. Attention, Earth creatures. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. At this time, we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. I don't care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. With your arms have evolved the astounding power of psychokinesis, Crypto. Target an object or creature, then lift it into the sky. Use PK to finish off the belligerent bovines. Slam them into the ground. And as you can see, there's a little uh, optional objectives, and those give you extra DNA uh, to unlock more abilities. And on top of that, they, in some cases, you complete those, and you can go ahead and unlock skins and whatnot. Oh, and since we're on this level, I should have used the cow skin, but I guess I can just use it next time. A lot more voice lines, too. Good work, Crypto. <laughs> I don't know what I got hit by. Mm, Martha, you didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner. Wait a minute, that ain't steak. That's holy mother. Martha, give me the shotgun. Now we get to the fun this stuff. Now I got the buttons all twisted around because if you watch the first one, you know the PK button is actually the, you know, fry people button. So, yeah.
you can't even make that mistake in this game. You really can't. He's more like a blue-gray. Okay, so I was wrong. In some situations, they do kind of just stop the game for you to read it. But, you know, shields, you know, it's the energy. You know, more damage you take, then you'll be in that red. And red is bad because you will die. But it's okay. Fucking shields recharge. Now them now they don't just randomly phase into existence. And water hurts you. This doesn't hurt you, but standing in this hurts you. I don't know why. Doesn't really make too much sense, but who really cares? Let's see, we don't need to use any concentration. Concentration mechanic is completely removed. And honestly, Seeing it being done this way, it just kind of feels cheap having to use concentration. But I understand... But I understand why they did it to begin with. It's so... Like, later on, um, I'll just talk about it once we get to that point. Let's go around popping heads real quick. So you can tell some of these have been ripped directly from the first game. And there's a lot of new voice lines, which I really appreciate. I really do. And honestly, I hope they redo the second game too. If they did this great of a job, I can't wait to see what they do with the second game. Honestly, the Zapomatic has to be my favorite. Fa one of my favorite things that they made better. I'm just gonna be completely honest. Take a spin in your saucer, Get a feel for the controls, and then go ahead and start shooting. And in this game, you can actually change the altitude. You have altitude control, the saucer is a lot faster. Perfect. And you don't have to wait quite as long for this laser to charge up after each blast. Which I really, really love. I was kind of losing my patience playing the first one just because I had to wait for it to recharge so often. Yeah, I know, kind of cheap, kind of cringe, but 
you, you gotta appreciate the amount of love that they put into this game. You have to. Look out! There are more to the north in the bushes. Like coming from a person. Like coming from a person that played the very first game when it came out, I have to admit, it's a pretty good, pretty faithful redo. Oh, I can't heal anymore. Not like I really need it. And they did add a little bit more to this, I will admit. Not a huge bit to this whole mission, but a little bit. It's kind of hard to hit the smaller guys, though. Do I actually have to kill, like... Whatever. Oh. It, it's just the cop car. I see. Excellent work, Crypto. I like the little slow mo after each mission. missed one got to kill the farmer's wife with a chicken so it, it, it like I said with little things like that it's a bit disorientating just because you're not used to it but at the end of the day it's all right uh, you can actually replay the missions in this one I don't believe you can in the first one not like there's a whole lot of purpose to it but we come here unlocking the little stuff like that you can definitely do it so you can see all the stuff you unlocked and you can go ahead and purchase in the box mod mark. Kinda looks like Kevin Bacon. Now I can't do a direct comparison or anything like that now but you can only assume most of that stuff probably wasn't unlocked to begin with.
so So this is what the whole menu looks like even if everything is locked. Uh, you get an idea of what you're going to be unlocking and getting yourself into. So right now the only thing that's unlocked is this Applematic. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So what can we get with this Applematic? Um, increase Applematic, uh, battery charge, and electric arch, ah, arc chains to a few additional targets. The first target in the chain takes the most damage. Which is already within itself pretty brazy. Uh, let's see. Increases the duration of the ground burns. Increases the death rate's charge capacity. And I think that's about it. Death rate. Yeah, that's about it. So archives, hollow pox. Like I said, you can go back and play the mission, replay the missions. Fear on handbook. Fear gummy. And it looks like it's just kind of an art thing. So like the different sketches and whatnot they made for the game. So if you're into that kind of thing, it's there. But that is going to do it for now. But there's also the ability to go back and play all of these on different, you know, uh, what's it called? Difficulty levels. There's different uh, events you can do in the game, like in the first game. I haven't really explored any of these places after I've been there, but there's plenty of stuff to do and it's right there and it shows you everything that you can go ahead and do there uh, the flames pretty much show how much of that area you have destroyed and all that so at the end of the day it's pretty straightforward in my opinion this is a great remake it is a labor of love and I'm glad that they did it, and I'm ha and I'm really, really hoping that they decide to do the second game. I really do. The second game is probably my favorite out of the entire series. And if they were to come back and do the second game like this, if not better, ah, I would be so happy with that. But anyway, for now, we're done. And I'll see you on the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.